Mario and Sonic at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. Finally, it only took like 15 attempts. Jesus, I hate those long ass names. But still, uh, they have released new information, including new gameplay, possible new characters, they've released new renders, and many more. So let's get right into the news. All right, so we're going to start, wait, actually before we start anything, Hello everybody, welcome to the new thing on our channel, If on my channel, if, if, if you guys like it, it's called Speedy Nose, and it's where I talk about Sonic information, and this is 50% Sonic, so I, it counts, haha, so I'm um, like, yeah, the, the, I'm going to talk about the renders, because they're not that important, they're more important for the YouTubers to put in their thumbnails, which you're going to be seeing me doing, so yeah, and uh, I actually like these renders, they look pretty cool, they look really good, really high quality, I think, in my opinion, but I'm um, like, uh, yeah. So we got Mario, Sonic, Tails, Luigi, Bowser, Eggman, Amy, Daisy, Peach, Blaze, Bowser Jr., Metal Sonic, Donkey Kong, Vector, Shadow, Wario, Silver, Waluigi, and yeah, I think, oh, Yoshi and Knuckles. Can't believe I forgot Yoshi and Knuckles. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm gonna see Knuckles in the comments being mad, bro. He's gonna be triggered. How you gonna put me mad, bro? Uh, I don't even know if that's all of them. If there's anyone I'm missing, I'll put them there. But those are the supposed playable characters. And I'll talk more about them later. So, but we have three renders for people who are miscellaneous right now. Which are Toad, Cream, and Cheese. Or Child, I don't know if it's Cheese or Child. I don't freaking know. But cream is here, so I guess it's Cheese. But yeah, um, what's weird is... SPO and Charmy never got renders for like the 2012 and the other games that they've been in. So, and they're like the, I guess, referees for those games. So, what's the game? So, I, either they're new characters or Nintendo's being weird. Sega. But, if they are, I think I have two more characters they can add. Which are Rouge and Rosalina. Because, let's, let's say we're getting four new characters because it's not that much. We can have four characters. And if the types were still a thing, I don't think they, I think they removed types after 2016. But like, a uh, toe can be a speed, so toe can be speed, cream can be something. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Cream can be, let's say, I would say cream is all around, rouge can be technique, and then Rosalina can be power because that would be pretty interesting having a girl as a power type. And also, I think like Rosalina is one of the strongest modern characters anyway, so yeah, I guess it works. And at least we got four new characters to enjoy in this game after having the same characters for 10 years. Thanks, Sega. Now, next up are two trailers that have been released in the past two days, which is one about... Ooh, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna talk about it when I, when you see the trailer because it's gonna, it's gonna be the first one that you're gonna watch. But this one was uploaded on the official Nintendo channel and the official Sonic the Hedgehog channel, respectively. I think the Nintendo uh, trailer one came out first, and then we have one from Game Explain, which is a more in-depth like thing about the game, basically. Which is uh, everything is in Japanese, like all the words and stuff, and the language too. So I don't know if I'm gonna translate it yet, cause it's kind of it's gonna take a lot of work, Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, uh, you guys get to watch this one the reason why i'm showing you the mario and sonic the, you're gonna understand the reason why i'm showing you the nintendo slash sega version is because um this one is probably more popular than the other one so you guys are probably gonna know this one anyway so i'm just gonna get out of the way first and then we can talk about it because I, I have a problem more with this one than the game explain one the game explain one only has 129,000 um views and this one has and the, the one I'm about to show you has 286,000, so more people have seen this one, so yeah, don't be surprised if you see what I see. And yeah, just god damn it, take a why? Amazing 
All right, now that you've seen the trailer, if this is your first time, think of what the biggest problem might be universally. Maybe the animation for Peach, how she only has one frame of animation, or you know, how there's only like a few characters that were shown in 2D, or that there's like, for example, Sonic is in 16-bit, Mario's in 8-bit, I don't even know if Knuckles is 32 or 16-bit, I think it's 16-bit still. No, th those are not the biggest problem. You know what the biggest problem is? That there's 2D in the game anyway. Why is there 2D in this 3D game? This is a spin-off. And it's even worse than all the others. Because it's not like, like, freaking 2.5D. No, it's literally just 2D. Cla so, freaking... People be asking for Sonic Mania 2, well congratulations, Mario and Sonic at the 20, whatever, Olympic Games 2020 is your Sonic Mania 2. Yeah, it might not look as good, but there's still Sonic. That There's still Tails, there's still Knuckles, so Sonic Mania. Might not be plus, but still, Sonic Mania. But yeah, why? Probably because Sega can never let their boner for classic Sonic go away. There was no reason to put him in forces. And now, there's no reason for him to be in freaking... It's not, at this point, it's just classic Sonic in general, not 2.5D classic Sonic, just classic Sonic in general. The only two times that it was okay for him to be in the game, where it was okay to, for him to be around, was for Mania, which doesn't even count. But that I'm still gonna let it, which doesn't even count, because that's a just fully 2D game. And Generations, because it's an anniversary. About the past. Forces literally pulled classic sonic out of their ass and now we have this now before i thought it was only the main game titles that classic sonic was taking over now he's in everything you don't know why you don't know something if team sonic racer ever racer team sonic racing ever had dlc i think you don't know what i think would be in the game i don't know what i think would be dlc team classic which would just be team Freaking anomaly, which would just be classic Sonic, classic Tails, and classic Knuckles. Because who cares at this point? You only thought it was the modern games he was taking over? Well, now that Mario and Sonic have just confirmed that he's taking over anything that has the word Sonic in it, why the fuck not? Uh, you know, those other characters like, well, uh, all the other characters like Mighty, Ray, Jet, Wave. All those characters, who are they? I don't even know who you're talking about. What? Orba, Cuba, that would be cool, but I don't know who you're talking about. Who's, who's an Orba and who's a Cuba? That's what Sega says. Alright? Jesus. I know they brought some things back, like canoeing from 2012, which was cool. I like the animation for the 2D stuff, but again, Peach only has one frame of animation. That was the biggest meme of that trailer. Why is it so goddamn bad? But now, it's time for the second trailer. From Game Explain, which I think is pretty freaking lit. It shows a whole bunch of new stuff. It reveals a whole bunch of new things, which is really exciting, which is freaking cool. It confirms things that people thought would not be in the game, which people would think that would make it worse. But now that it's in the game, it's confirmed. Everyone is hyped for this game. Everyone thought that this game was going to be mediocre. Even like at the same level as 2016. Maybe even worse than 2014 or on the same level. But this, this can tie with 2012. Or maybe even be better than 2012. Which in my opinion is one of my favorite games of all time. 2012 is so much fun. It has good dream events. It has good normal events. And I kinda in like the London party even though everyone else hates it. But it's still pretty fun. But... This game introduces almost everything else and adds a new mode, which is 2D, which is kind of okay. I just don't like the classic Sonic part. So, here you go. The game is playing. New trailer. Oh, BTW, it's all the audios in Japanese, so, and the writing too, so. 
Alright, so I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, Blue Blur, where's the video? Well, here's the thing. I recorded the whole video. I even did the, the, all the stuff after this. But, I realized, the video was, uh, I realized that I was just breaking down everything instead of, you know, giving you all the information about it. I was giving Easter eggs and all that stuff. So instead, I'm going to do a separate video, so I have to, you know, redo that whole part of the video, so I'm going to have to delete that, and redo the whole thing again, just because, you know, it didn't feel like the same way that I made this one, which was about all the information, and giving you like a little theory of mind for the character stuff, it wasn't, I had to, sorry for the background, it started raining randomly, but yeah, I wasn't breaking down the first trailer, I was just giving my thoughts, like I said, so... In a few hours from now, from when you're watching this, on the, say, uh, the day it came out, there will be the breakdown video to the next uh, Game Explain trailer. So make sure to subscribe, like, hit the notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.